and can these uh, Petzl is Guys, it's been a while. I know this whole quarantine chaos it was actually good for me because I basically just sit in front of a computer every day anyways. <sighs> Didn't really affect me that much. Financially, yes. <sighs> Other than that, I enjoyed being able to catch up on stuff. So, man, it's so sunny out here. I am a huge fan of outdoor tech and design. I'll be the first one to impulse buy something immediately. So. I was looking for a new headlamp. I've gone through many incarnations of headlamps before, and the number one thing that I would say would always bother me is the headband design. They would get loose, they would like bounce around on your head, they were hard to adjust, the battery life. My main problem is I hate wearing tight headbands. They actually give me a headache once in a while. So I've probably gone through about eight or 10 different headlamps and I never could quite find one that was perfect for me. And so my last headlamp was this absolute behemoth of a headlamp. This is my uh, headlamp I bought, again, it's kind of overkill. But I was like, I want the brightest headlamp possible. I think it was something like 10,000 lumens. Uh, it's heavy. The thing would just always be like falling down because it was just massive. I didn't realize this was gonna be so big. It was just absolutely overkill, especially for backcountry camping. So I'm sitting there on YouTube one day and I came across this commercial for one of the coolest looking headlamps I'd ever seen. So the Ico and the Ico Core are revolutionary new headlamps from Petzl. Petzl is definitely the leading innovators of the headlamp industry. They've been around for years and years. I think they went all the way back to like the miners for the big uh, headlamps for the helmet. But anyways, I've actually bought, uh, had bought a few for some friends of mine uh, I've never really bought one for myself yet. So here it is. This is the Petzl I-Core. Ico. This is the Petzl. Petzl Ico Core Super Headlamp. This thing is sick. As far as design and concept, they've basically covered every check mark that you can you can think of. So right off the bat, as soon as I pulled this thing out of the box and saw it for the first time, I was just like, wow, this is dope. So here we go. This is the Petzl Ico Core headlamp. Look at the design of this thing. It's so, this is something you would see like in a sci-fi movie. It's like what they would wear in like Prometheus or something like that. The Martian space. Uh, I was a little skeptical on this weird headband design going, I don't know if this is gonna be comfortable, comfortable or not. But uh, surprisingly enough, it's probably the most comfortable headlamp I've ever, I've ever tried. So, I mean, it's just, look at that, no movement. No movement at all. It's super light. You can barely feel it on your head. And it even works just fine if you're wearing a hat doesn't matter it still forms to it perfectly so the first cool thing about this is uh, where the power is stored and that's that's in the back and it's balanced really really nicely by how they designed where the power source is located and so you merely uh, unclip it from the back and that reveals a 1250 milliamp uh, lithium ion battery. It has a micro USB charging port right into there so you can just pull it out, stick it in there. I think it's about an hour to fully charge the battery and uh, they call this a hybrid system again because uh, it's also compatible with three AAA batteries. So that 
I think is absolutely genius. I love that idea because the company isn't forcing you to buy multiple batteries. Uh, kind of like DJI does with their drones. You're like, what am I gonna do with one battery? So this i has three power settings. Uh, the lowest one is six lumens, which is nothing. You're probably not gonna be using it that much at all. It barely gives out anything but it gives you a, a hundred hours of burn time. Uh, the second is a uh, hundred lumens and that uh, will give you nine and a half hours of burn time. And then the max power is 500 lumens and that gives you about two and a half hours at full brightness capacity. It'd probably be something you have to be more wary of if you were hiking at night, if you were running, if you were bicycling, anything like that, rock climbing. The 100 lumens is just fine and again at nine and a half hours burn time, that's pretty good for any backcountry trip, uh, multi-day trip. You should be fine for like two or three nights and then again, having either a portable battery pack or um, three AAA batteries, you could probably definitely extend that to you know a five night trip. For basic chores at camp, having a little campy uh, lantern or hanging this in, in your tent and being able to read at night, I feel like nine and a half hours is, uh, is substantial. Uh, one thing to note that with the AAA batteries, the max output is only gonna be 350 lumens which again, you're not really gonna need. I think the 100 lumens is fine for basic stuff, so that's definitely not a deal breaker in any way. So the other thing I love about this is this tightening system on here with these bungees, but there's a little knob on top that you basically just press and you can unloosen it like so. I'd love to see all the incarnations of this um, as they were basically trying to develop it. The lamp itself in the front, it's super light. And the first time I showed it to a friend of mine, they were concerned that this was the limit that it could actually bend down. So because of the design factor, wear it right around your neck like so. And you have full downward tilt. Everyone knows at camp when you're talking to people, there's nothing more annoying than having someone shining their flashlight, their headlamp into your eyes as you're trying to like talk to them and stuff like that. So this, this is really great for people that like to do work and stuff like that and not have something directly on their head. This gives you full tilt right below where you're working. And I'm sure you're, you're looking at this going, it's pretty big, but it has this amazing feature where essentially you can just click these things together, fold these earpieces, and then it comes with this nifty bag. Slip in here like that, just slap it in there, zip it tight, and that's the actual size that you would be carrying. So definitely well worth it. There's also a second function to this storage case, which I think is just, it's so smart. So what you can basically do is just set it up like this. You got your light source here. You can just tilt it up like that. And then you take the bag, it was actually a diffuser. And you have a camping lantern. How cool is that? How cool is that? Same thing, uh, you can turn it on inside the lamp. And uh, I've actually used this inside the tent before. I could just hang this up and have my little camping lantern. But uh, it was great playing Connect 4 last night and having this as essentially a camping lantern on the side instead of having it on your head constantly and blinding people. This, uh, this feature is really cool. I'll actually show you tonight what it, what it looks like. The lamp feature is so cool. Uh, I have this Goal Zero Crush Light, which, is, uh, which again is one of my favorite 
lamps as well too but if you're really trying to cut weight um, now you just need this you have your headlamp and you have your camping lamp uh, together so you don't need to even bring this guy with you now this guy comes out at an amazing 79 grams um, which obviously isn't the lightest headlamp you can get but as far as all the features that it has and the dual purposes uh, 79 grams is is nothing so as far as price goes uh, about uh, I paid a little over a hundred dollars for this which is not cheap in any way considering you can get ad lamp for like five ten bucks at Walmart whatever but you get what you pay for uh, I just looked it up right now and I think backcountry is selling it for 80 bucks but I can honestly say that if you have one of these you're gonna be the coolest person at camp so anyways yeah this is the Petzl Ico core headlamp check it out guys you'll really like it Now I can, now, top 10 new camping gear of so-and-so and, -so and Petzl, I believe, Petzl, I think, Petzl is essentially the leader of the, so it has uh, three, um, so this is uh, five, uh, which is actually, and the specs are extremely, ex and then uh, let's see if I can get this. All in all, pick up your Petzl I Co. Mm.